、いい正解。The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage Chapter 53 Playing the Same Old Tricks The graceful poise of the youth on stage was heavenly, and in a short period of time enemies would be utterly defeated. Even though his age was still young, his performance and style were not unlike those who were matured. It was said that if arrogance requires ability, Then he would definitely have it. As such, one could differentiate between superiority and inferiority. The young ladies in the audience were long stunned. They usually moved around in the backyard, and how would they have any opportunity to view such a scene? They would only have the annual academy examinations to feast their eyes. But, Zi Jingxing's performance was far more interesting than even the past academy examinations. Young females most probably admire heroes, and coupled with Zi Jingxing's striking appearance and bearing, naturally, many hearts were captured. There were jealous ones among the youths, but, Most of them were amazed. Su Ming Feng looked from the afar pavilion and smiled as he shook his head. So, the matter that was worth celebrating was this this guy is still so arrogant. But, Su Ming Feng also knew that today's show was just the tip of the iceberg for Zi Jing Xing. He was a person that did not disclose his depth, and for him to be like this today. Was it to express something towards the action of that person on top? His expression gradually became serious. He was somewhat unable to see his good friend's decision. That little Z Marquis is indeed not ordinary. A small look of worship emerged on Feng and Ning's face. I see that there would not be anyone in the younger generation in this Ding capital, or maybe in the entire Ming Chi. That shoulder to shoulder could be compared to him. Xin Miao shook her head. Zi Jing Xing's expertise was, after all, not in the test. His expertise is his exquisite combat experience. If it was not that he was finally harmed by the imperial family in the past lifetime, with the Zi family's military power and Zi Jing Xing's prestige in the army, He would have to be able to claim half of Ming Chi. It is just, the downfall of the Z family was still, after all, a mystery. Shen Miao's heart sighed. In her past life, she was so focused on supporting Fu Ziyu Yi, and as for the Z family's matters, she did not have much knowledge of it, and thus she was at a loss of what to do. Z Chang Zhao. And Zi Chang Wu almost vomited blood because of Zi Jing Xing's words. Zi Jing Xing's actions looked light and flattery, but, in reality, only both of them knew how serious their injuries were. But, everyone around did not sympathize with the Zi brothers, as Zi Chang Wu and Zi Chang Jia used such a despicable means of attack in the academy examinations. The most important thing was being fair and just, so the two Z brothers' actions not only were looked down on by the audience, but the examiners up on stage also disdained, and after today, both of their accumulated reputation from before would all disappear. Indeed, a good scheme. Shin Miao looked at the youth who was standing. And crossing his arms on the stage as she lightly said, Today Zi Jing Xing lead the two Zi brothers by their noses. Thus the two Zi brothers lost their usual sense of propriety and used despicable means to try to harm others. Most likely they were sober now, but it is already too late to play a trick in the full view of the audiences. The differences between the day And Shu's sons of the residents of the Marquis of Linan were tremendously clear today. Zi Jing Xing also said to the two of them lazily, Victory and defeat is clear. Is there anyone who wants to challenge? The entire arena fell silent. The means that Zi Jing Xing used to handle Zi Chang Wu and Zi Chang Zhao were for all to see. It was practically one lance flipping two people over. And these two people were well known. In a short moment, no one in the audience spoke. Zi Jing Xing casually threw the lance in his hands and said, Since there are not any, 
then goodbye. Finishing, in a short time of a, swished of sleeves, he vanished, and naturally, that attracted cries of surprise. This guy's martial arts skills are not weak, Prince Shu said, but, no matter how good his martial arts skills are, he is an unyielding person. Pei Lying however sighed in his heart. This imperial family of Minking looked smart, but, their sights were short, and superficial. This youth depth was not uncovered, and that behavior on stage was done intentionally. Even though he did not know what was the reason behind, but, if it was not to establish his prestige, the imperial family would be somewhat concerned. He gently glanced at Prince Zhu, and Prince Jing. If the imperial family squarely faced Zi Jing Xing, one was afraid that it would be difficult in the future. That was because he was a lion, just like how Shen Miao was before. Although the examiner was helpless towards Zi Jing Xing leaving by himself, they still read out that he had earned the first place. The servants of the two Z brothers quickly support them down, and they were too embarrassed to say any greetings before they exited the place with their tails between their legs. Thanks to Zi Jing Xing's great performance, the few challenges after that made one feel rather tedious, and they were not half as interesting. Most of the audience kept yawning. Shen Yu and Shen King kept looking up at Shen Miao from time to time. Today Shen family, other than Shen Miao, Shen King, and Shen Yu were considered concealed. Due to the feeling she had for Fu Ziyu Yi in her heart, Shen King had hated Shen Miao till she grinds her teeth from long ago as she felt that Shen Miao had snatched things that belonged to her. As for Shen Yu, she was bothered relentlessly at the fact that Shen Miao defeated her, and her heart was a thousand times not resigned. Towards both of their thoughts, Shen Miao did not know any of it, but, even if she knew she would not be even bothered about it. She instructed Gu Yu to her side, and softly said a few sentences to her. Gu Yu's expression became stern after she heard it and soon retreated quietly. At the same time, Prince Yu from the male side of the banquet also waved his hands, and a guard appeared beside him. After listening to Prince Yu's command, that guard quickly disappears from the banquet. In a distant pavilion, Zi Jing Xing finally reappeared by Su Ming Feng's side. Su Ming Feng applauded a few times before looking at him with the side of his eyes. You're really the limelight in Ding Capital today. Small matter. Zi Jing Xing was not in the least concerned. You are ready to sort out the two younger brothers? Su Ming Feng asked. It is not your style to suddenly strike. Was given directions by someone. Zi Jing Xing raised his eyebrows. Some matters are better to settle as early as possible. I too can no longer wait when it has been stayed for too long. Su Ming Feng frowned. He felt that there were more than just the apparent meaning of Zi Jing Xing's words, but, he wisely did not question more. Even though he has many years of friendship with this person, but, towards this person's mysterious background, he would not probe into it. His line of sight landed for a moment down below before he said, however, the young lady that you just saved seemed to be in somewhat trouble. Zi Jing Xing's sight swept across, and saw at the female side of the banquet there was a guard who handed an invitation-like thing over to the second Furin of the Shen family, Ren Wanyan. But, his eyes faintly discernibly glanced over to the purple-clad young lady. Ren Wan Yun held the invitation, and was somewhat excited as she said, His Highness Prince Yu's action make this married female official felt fearful in her heart. Fifth lady, come over here to thank Prince Yu's invitation. Shin Miao's eyes concentrated as she stared in focus at Ren Wan Yun with a sneer on the corner of her lips. Want to play the the same old tricks, facing Shen Yu's, and Shen King's with rejoiced in her misfortune, she lazily stretched her back, and her clear eyes suddenly bore a shade of darkness. Very well. Her lips rose, 
I will definitely thank him properly. A flash of interest flashed in Xi Jinping's eyes. There is a good show to watch.